Hi guys and welcome as usual, I want to share my own thoughts about the crypto world, what's happening, what's gonna happen. Actually, we do have some stable mm, situation. We have small and slow movement forward. Uh, the price of Bitcoin is hovering around the same numbers. The market is uh, quite stable, but really, really slow. Uh, dominance of Bitcoin is 43.2. ETH dominance getting less to 14.7. There are 19,981 cryptos out there. 24-hour uh, trading volume is pretty not so big. The global crypto market cap is 906.65 billion. Uh, and we have small and slow increase of 0.95% over the last day. Uh, but it seems like we stopped falling. We found the bottom and we bounced from this bottom and slowly considering this level, slowly moving forward. Uh, there are some, some different, different projects that gained some. Let's take a look on the daily picture. Rune, Unimatic, Engine, Sand, Mana, Atom. Uh, like nothing special, but 23% for Matic on the daily basis is quite, quite good. Let's switch to weekly uh, basis. And we see that we have some uh, couple of projects that made uh, some pretty um, quite normal things like 41 percent 70 percent 42 percent 21 26 and so so on now like this picture weekly picture looks quite fantastic uh, despite the insane drop uh, of the prices like last week uh, but again daily looks pretty good and we moving forward all right and there are some interesting uh, cases where we do have more than an average growth for some projects and if you owe some some of these projects you can be a happy person that everything is growing not everything okay but quite um, quite some projects from top 100 are growing and this is not bad this is quite not bad uh, it is not definitely the altcoin season and it is not or already it's not the Bitcoin season uh, but we going uh, we go into Bitcoin season again like now we at the mark of 27 and Bitcoin season uh, starting at 25 uh, want to show you in each video I'm showing you this top 50 performance over the last season of 90 days and we do have uh, insane red uh how much 46 projects 46 projects are in the red zone just four of them are in the green zone and they made something at least uh, but all other projects and there are reliable strong and powerful projects uh, and you can buy them right now with a great discount guys if you want to if you if you uh, if you was thinking about to jump to crypto, this is quite the time to make that happen. Because if you want to invest uh, in in these assets, in virtual assets, definitely it can be done with that. So if you do want to jump in, this is quite time again and again and again. There's no better time to jump to crypto than now. Right? And there are some... Uh, different types of strategies about the crypto or you can trade intraday or you can hold for a long time if you want to hold for a long time uh, this is quite fantastic movement in in two years or in one year definitely you'll be much uh, much stronger in this meaning if you're gonna jump into one of this or all of them uh, projects with a 51% discount with a 64% discount with a 67 and so so on like just think about it all right uh today crypto fear and greed index shows a little bit more uh than was last week we had mark of seven right now we do have 11 and this is quite 
uh, not bad, but we do we still do have extreme fear on the table, and that means that uh, this can be perfect and fantastic buying opportunity. I told you in previous videos that you need to buy the fear, you need to sell the greed. And this is one of one of the fundamental uh, rules for the crypto and in general for the stock market also, but for the crypto, this is quite quite working. Uh, strategy to buy the fear and to sell the greed it works all the time uh, and if you if you are inside the market you probably know that stock market heat map today looks pretty fantastic everything is in green except some some projects though that means that stock market feels great crypto feels quite normal let's say like that uh, no big deal with uh, with this stuff. Now, what's happening with Bitcoin? If you wondered, Bitcoin Rainbow Price Chart, one of my favorite tools, one of my favorite metrics. This thing, uh, this tool shows overall movement of a Bitcoin. And if it, at at this moment you think that, oh my God, everything just. Uh, Bitcoin will disappear or something like that. No, it will not. It is really strong, powerful. It's first and, and so, so on, right? But the thing is that in the moment you can, you can uh, consider like some movements as a disaster. Yeah. But in general, everything is quite cool. And we are now at a basically a fire sale. So r right now at this moment, the price of Bitcoin around... Uh, 20,000 uh, per one Bitcoin is is quite fantastic. Definitely, it moves. You can see how Bitcoin is moving. It's not uh, it's not fast. It's not the the price is not changing uh, like for 100 or 200 percent in like one hour, one day. Yeah, it takes time. How much time it will take? Nobody knows. Like uh, for the next halving. For example, uh, before the next halving, we're going to see uh, different numbers. So maximum Babel territory will be at the 500, 4,000, right? And the lowest positions at 44 after the next halving. But I think that we're going to be quite somewhere uh, around the middle and it's going to be like 147 thousand per one bitcoin right now the price is 20 think about it uh let's jump to chart and let's take a look what's happening we uh, we fell down we considered we made an attempt to to jump higher we fell more uh we were at the eighteen thousand. right now we tried to jump higher to 21 we fell down to 19 and now we like steadily growing slowly but moving forward and now the price is 20,700 uh, I think I think that we gonna try we're gonna try to uh, jump higher um, for for 23 at least because uh, uh, overall support is at 30 but we fell down big players big whales uh, collected a lot of Bitcoin, a lot of a lot of that mm, coins that were well sold on the market by the people who uh, who feels extreme fear and they're selling with a loss, but they're selling. Okay, uh, they lost their faith for uh, this fundamental and 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 really powerful project, and they're selling big whales, big investors who have patience and who have time to wait they're sitting uh, on their uh, buckets of bitcoin yeah and and continue to buy that means that all the weak hands will uh, will lose their bitcoin and all the strong hands will get their bitcoin in the end of the story but definitely we are now at the extremely low levels uh, and 20,000 20 to 20.6.7 is quite a fantastic price of Bitcoin. I think that we're gonna uh, we, we're gonna move in this area uh, 
probably we're gonna move to 23 uh, maybe we're gonna correct a little bit but then we're gonna go much higher ethereum is also recovering ethereum is also recovering we see the same three green candles right now the price is 100 1110 let's say uh, and this is not bad we felt but we are trying we're trying to go higher and uh, i think that uh, the, the the graph will move the same way uh, the similar way as bitcoin do uh, like we're gonna see of course but there is no signs for ethereum to uh to be up from the bitcoin it's always following the bitcoin and that's why mm, uh, that's why the graph is pretty similar that's why uh it's not moving so quick it's pretty heavy it's expensive and so so on i think that probably you know everything about ethereum uh, if you're using it uh, or you owe it uh so guys i think that that we, we're gonna we're gonna move slowly we're gonna see some flat movements uh and after if bitcoin will grow exponentially uh, we're gonna see the growth for all the market and for ethereum uh also bnb showing quite faster move than ethereum because it's really lighter cheaper and and more uh, more flexible let's say like that we do have three green candles right now the price is 226 uh, let's say 227 and it's gonna grow slowly but grow uh, and um, also we do have some connection of all the market and separate tokens and coins um, and this project BNB will not disappear for sure because this, this is the coin of one of the biggest exchanges of Binance you know this is Binance coin and it's trading pretty quite good right now it's 226 and it's gonna grow for sure and um, BNB showed already that it can move separately from all the market and it can grow despite the unstable and unsafe situation on the market that's quite like that so guys we do have some increase we do have some green uh green signs for all the market and i think that it's it's quite normal it's quite normal we're moving uh, sideways for the moment there is no big and fantastic volatility on the market for the moment and we do have small increase everything is going to be cool definitely so mm, be cautious uh, make wise decisions and i'm not a financial advisor my only advice is do not invest more money than you can afford to lose and you'll be much happier uh, if you're not going to lose everything that you have thank you so much have a great day take care bye bye hope this was useful and see you in the next videos